Alright, I got a couple of comments I want to address here. Um, uh, Justin says, ask any sailor the last time they saw a radio tower in the middle of the ocean. Why? I don't understand the context of why I would why I would do that. And I'm not sure what, even what you're talking about. Um, the context of the video, from my memory, is that, I mean, regardless of what the video says, the fact is radio signals can travel thousands of miles. You admit that when you say you believe there are satellites in outer space. Okay, so obviously if you believe there are satellites in outer space, then you believe that radio signals can travel thousands of miles automatically. Okay, so if you believe that they can travel thousands of miles from outer space to Earth, then also can they travel thousands of miles on Earth from one place to another? Okay, it's, I mean, you can't be, uh, people are willfully ignorant on this, and it's, it's incredible, really. And the fact that radio signals travel in between the ocean water and sky water or sky ceiling whatever you want to call it they can travel a lot further than say radio signals that uh, try to bounce through mountains if you will okay just like sound will travel further if there's no obstruction so also radio signals can travel further if there's no obstruction all right so anyways uh i'm not sure what you're was there just but thanks for the comment appreciate that all right and then let's see what these guys say look you know that king james that wrote the king james bible was a freemason so why do you believe that book uh, that's brilliant i think i actually already saw that one uh maurice Pana wrote this book okay i'm a flat earther and yes king james wrote the new testament of the King James Bible Freemason. How do I know this? Because I was a fourth degree Freemason, and after I quickly, this is great stuff. I haven't read this. I was a fourth degree Freemason, and after I quickly learned how F upped, they, I, left. So you're believing stuff written by Freemasons. The Old Testament, however, has more truth and meaning than the New. There was never a Jesus. So sorry that you believe that. Well, I appreciate I appreciate you being sorry. But obviously one thing, this person here never read the Old Testament never read the New Testament, has no idea what the Bible says, and is flat out wrong about the King James Bible, and they are not a Freemason. What they are is a liar. Uh, Luke. Oh, that's the same guy. I didn't realize that same guy. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you, you're not a Freemason. You're a liar. All right? And you like to use foul language as well, so that's nice. But, uh, First of all, the Old Testament is from the book of Genesis all the way through prophesizes the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, and if you've never read it, then you wouldn't know it, right? And uh, King James did not write the New. I mean, the, wrote the New Testament. Uh, that's a new one. I've actually never heard anybody make that claim. King James wrote the New Testament. I'll be doggone. You know, the New Testament actually has several authors. And King James was not one of them. James, the brother of Jesus, was. But not King James. Different James. And King James didn't write anything. He didn't even translate anything in the King James Bible. He commissioned... 54 the greatest scholars of that time and um, Authorized them to spend seven years together Translating The Bible the whole Bible into the English 
language, the Old Testament, New Testament. All right. So King James actually didn't write anything or nor did he translate anything. And this is just complete ignorance. It's unbelievable. Uh, people are just making up whatever they want and they think, well, that doesn't, the truth doesn't matter. It's like Pilate, when he, asked, when he says to Jesus, he says, what is truth? Because uh, like Pilate, he had no concept of truth. Uh, and there are a lot of people today that think that everything is, uh, you know, subjective, like truth is subjective. It, truth doesn't matter. It's just popular opinion dictates truth. That's, and I'm telling you, there's a whole lot of people out there, and Luke's one of them. He thinks that if he can gather up popular opinion, then it becomes truth. Yet, we that are born of God knows that truth is absolute. It is not subjective at all. Uh, yeah, and yeah, we do live in a black and white world. We do not live in a gray area type of, I mean, come on. All right, so that, that's kind of nonsense stuff. But I just wanted to. Uh, rather than uh, comment, because I already commented on this, I'm sure I did, and I just all I simply said was that King James did not write the King James Bible. Right, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, and uh, so what else we got here? Let's go Let's see. There's, I think there was a published. Comment I wanted to address here. William says, I hope you are doing well. I'm doing great. All right, appreciate that. And probably you're asking because I haven't done a video uh, for you know a few days. And you know, I just uh, I felt like it was a good time to take a break uh, and sort of clear my mind, sort of refresh myself. I do that from time to time. You know, I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Yeah, but everything's great. And thanks. Thanks. I appreciate that. And Roderick says, I'm missed on Celebrate Truth Channel live chat. I know it's tough being around those who doubt salvation. Yeah. Well, you know, the over there at Celebrate Truth, or Robbie Davidson of Celebrate Truth, they said, I can't preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And they even said this was a command given by Robbie Davidson, that you're not allowed to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ on the Celebrate Truth channel. So, uh, you know, like the Bible says, uh, let's see if I can find a verse that would apply. Uh, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion has light with darkness? So these guys forbid me from preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ on the Celebrate Truth, Robbie Davidson channel. And rather, I mean, why argue with them? I let them know clearly, in, in my mind anyway, what the gospel of Jesus Christ is, and they said I can't preach it so you know I, I think it was just time to move on I mean who knows maybe someday in the future I'll be back maybe somebody will have a change of heart and repent of their unbelief and turn to belief in the Lord Jesus Christ but until that happens man what can I do really so I'm just be if I keep continuing going back there I'm just being a nuisance a nuisance to them so it's unfortunate, Roderick. I appreciate that comment. Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Hey, somebody's got it figured out. There we go. Hey, Amen. Jesus is the living water. There we go. So, not everybody is a complete lunatic. There we go. All right. So, no, I appreciate these comments. And that's all I got. That's all I got. It's 10 minutes. That's enough.